welcomes to online demonstration on application of past software for statistical analysis. In this video, I will show you the basics of this past software and how we can use this software for basic statistical analysis in biological samples, such as we will discuss for the how to use this software for the analysis of descriptive statistics such as mean, median, mode, standard deviation, standard error and also we will see how to use this software for the principal component analysis and cluster analysis. Before going to start this past we should know what is past. Past is the paleontological statistics which is developed by Natural History Museum, University of Oslo. And this is a free software. The latest version of this software is also found in this link. You can use this link for download the free past software and also you can give the references in your publications and in your future reference you can use these references and also you can download this free past software from the google and in the google if you type past software free download you can download and you can keep in your computer and you can use this software for different types of analysis after download this is the computerized icon of past software and uh, first uh, before going to analysis we have to open the past software we can directly enter the data in the past software by clicking the row attributes and column attributes we can enter directly the data in this uh, software and also we can use excel file for uh, entering the data preparation of this data sheets suppose uh, we can enter the data in the excel file we can directly copy and paste there and uh, suppose this is the data sheet i have prepared for the analysis there are five plant species and these are the different types of characters i have entered so uh, here also we can directly copy this data here then we can paste this in different columns and uh, here also we can use uh, just clicking copy and paste and after that we have to select the data then we have to go for uh, univariate in the univariate analysis there is first one is the summary statistics if we click the summary statistics then it will be analyzed and these are different types of analysis suppose uh, n is the number of sample this is 5 for all the parameters minimum is height is 2 maximum is 6 sum is 20 mean is 4 standard error is this much variance is 2.5 standard error standard deviation median all these things we can calculate very easily and also we can copy this and we can also paste in the excel file directly then uh, we can also calculate these things by uh, univariate analysis there is another is correlation also very easily we can calculate correlation suppose this is the correlation different types of correlation linear correlation pearsons or spearmans or spermans uh, different types of correlation also we can calculate and we can copy these things and also we can paste in the excel file very easily we can extract the data into the excel files and another type of things also we can do that is one is multivariate analysis suppose this is a principal component analysis also multivariate analysis we can do by clicking the multivariate then ordination that is principal component analysis in this principal component there is two types of uh, analysis can be possible on the basis of variance covariance or on the basis of correlation generally correlation is much better than the variance uh, covariance analysis uh, suppose we can say this is the 
summary of the principal component analysis there are four component this is the eigen value and percentage of variance we can also calculate the percentage and also we can make the scatter plot of this by clicking this and we can use this scatter plot distribute or we can separate the samples in different forms different formats then we can make the by plot also that means uh, by plot means uh, parameter wise we can also dissociate we can also separate these things that means from this uh, um, plot it has been seen that suppose plant a and b are quite similar with each other on the basis of the photosynthesis and weight and uh, similarly the plant c is completely different from the other by on the basis of the chlorophyll and high height of these plants in this way also we can plot the eigen values and also we can make uh, different types of um, crops or also we can make the group labels like this we can also use and then we have to go for extract this graph we have to go for graph settings in this graph setting also we can make uh, suppose color we can detect the color and also we can make the thick line and we can make a frame then we have to go for SVG in the JPG format then we have to uh, export these pictures and we can save this picture in our computer destinations in our computer destination suppose this is figure I can keep this figure one uh, this is another thing then another is score also we can able to make the scores we can loading the data by plotting different types of correlations then we can see suppose uh, these are four uh, five parameters in these five parameters this photosynthesis and weight are uh, plant uh, dry weight is uh, directly related with each other whereas it is negatively related with the height biomass and chlorophyll molecules so we can also study in this way by clicking the graph settings we can um, taking the jpg files we can make the jpg file we can explore the pictures and uh, last thing is loading also we can calculate individual uh, relationship between the different parameters and uh, this is the scare pots and this is all about your uh, multivariate analysis we can all think that is the uh, most important thing that is known as clustering clustering also we can do that is uh, basing upon the cluster how the one plant is related with the other we can make classical clusters we can make the distance suppose this is the uh, break or this uh, then we can compute the similarity among this thing and we can also uh, analyze the data like this suppose plant D and plant E are very close to each other and their similarity is uh, near about 75 uh, more than 77 percent of similarity whereas this thing is quite similar with 70 percent similarity with these plants plant B and C are quite easily similarity with each other and it's more than 88 or 89 percent similarity we can also graph setting then jpg we can explore this picture and we can use this picture for the analysis and this is uh, all about the cluster analysis there are different types of clusters are there you can use different types of clusters uh, lucidian clusters we can change the distance also we can study the distance and cluster by the using this uh, icon and also we can use uh, this similarity and distance also you can very easily use by um, uh, different types of plants uh, with different types of plants there is similarity between the different plants also we can deduct and there is similarity and distance also we can measure by this way and we can copy this data and we can paste this data in the excel files then comes uh, the diversity analysis suppose this is diversity indices suppose uh, this is diversity indices we can calculate very easily suppose uh, there are five characters we want to study the diversity different types of diversity dominance uh, simpson's diversity index unknown diversity index even diverseness index all this margolif index all this diversity analysis can be possible very easily and uh, apart from this also we can different types of plots are there you can use different types 
types of plots suppose this is one of the stacker chart very easy very beautiful chart is there that is stacker chart you can present all the data of different plant species in this way by stacker diagram or stacker area also you can publish you can uh, make the graphs on the basis of percentage also you can uh, show your results and also you can show your result like this on the basis of the graph settings you can explore you can jpg then export this picture and another plot is the suppose you want to show your graph in the box plot you can show the um, different parameters in the box plot where is standard deviation you can show the standard deviation standard error and in the box plot there are different types of uh, box plots are there you can use different types of box plot and point plots uh, jitter plots you can extract the data by going to graph settings then uh, you can export and uh, another uh, thing is pie chart also you can use the pie chart suppose uh, this is one column you can select plot that is uh, pie diagram pie chart you can make the pie chart you can prepare different types of pie charts by doing this and uh, the different types of flat chart you can export this pie chart and you can use these uh, tools so these uh, are different types of things uh, there are a lot of things uh, also there are different types of models there are different types of geometry but uh, basically uh, you can uh, find the very easily you can find the uh, your uh, the summary statistics you can verify calculate and correlation you can calculate and also you can go for different types of uh, multivariate analysis and cluster analysis by using this software